Yet another lawsuit is taking aim at something that you likely encounter on a daily basis, a public sidewalk. A cyclist says a sidewalk hazard caused an ugly crash. New at 7, 10 News reporter Michael Chen shows us why the city attorney is not afraid to take these cases to a jury. It could be a disaster. Cyclist Koji Kimura gets a sinking feeling when he sees a roadside hazard. It's just scary, so you just, hey, what's going to happen to me? He's familiar with the hazards along Carmel Valley Road. One of those problems, now the focus of a new lawsuit filed by a rider named Craig Robinson. You can see the damage on his bike. After riding on this sidewalk to access a trail, he crashed. According to the suit, he hit a six and a half inch lift in the concrete that almost went across the entire sidewalk. The crash led to five broken ribs, a punctured lung, broken shoulder blade, broken eye socket, and amnesia for two days. The lawsuit alleges that the city failed to do its job to ensure that public sidewalks are free of hazardous conditions. In June, another lawsuit filed by Lily Mata, who says an uneven sidewalk near a Linda Vista school led to a fall and two broken arms. The suits will unfold as local engineering students catalog problems for all of San Diego sidewalks, a survey just approved by the city council. There's a curb damage here to the left. About $170 million in total repairs are needed. Right now, only $400,000 is budgeted every year. Attorney Ross Jerowitz is not associated with any of the suits. He says in these types of cases, the city usually argues the person should have been paying more attention. He says the city will also appeal to the jury as taxpayers. Cost of repair is not a legal defense at all, but it is an appeal to the jury that the city uses time and again. Something we could see again and again as more lawsuits pile up along with the sidewalk hazards. Michael Chen, 10 News. The city attorney's office did not get back to us for comment today. Robinson is suing to pay for medical bills that total more than $100,000.